in a land not so far away from yours. Two heroes unite in a quest for truth. In an age driven by technology and uncertainty, pixels will be borrowed, lyrics will be regurgitated, beats will be hijacked, styles will be spliced, whilst keeping it real. Harry Hatchampong and Bobby Bland are biters. Coming to a gallery space near you. Biters through, coming through. Straight from the us to the power you. Do, you. do you want to start this one? How, we, how did it start? How do we meet? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, very interesting. Um, well, actually, I, I, I knew about David's practice for quite a while before before David knew about mine, and um, and I realised that there are a lot of parallels between what we were both doing. Um, however, he was exploring uh, popular culture mostly from a, a visual point of view, whereas I was doing that from a sound based point point of view. And I think the thing that I um, realised could be a, a really interesting uh, crossover was when he announced and introduced the the biter um work that he'd been doing and so i f- i i saw that as a place to um not only absorb um what was taking place with his his practice but to also potentially have a conversation around that um and so i selfishly asked a, a question during his presentation um if he'd considered uh, the importance of of sound production in um, in terms of uh, exploring popular culture, uh, hip hop, and and such. So I guess from that point we we basically continued talking, and and that that's continued over the uh, the the best part of a year really. We we, we throw questions back and forth, and um, we've been building a range of of different ideas and things, and I think. Biters is, is basically the uh, the start of that, but it's it's the start of many many different uh, volumes and, and layers to things that we want to explore. Yeah, it was. Um, I guess I guess we, yeah, we first met at that that Whitechapel screen, wasn't mm. it? Of Biter, which was a project that I did uh, for um, Arts Admin and um, who are they? <laughs> the Freud Museum. No, it wasn't the Freud Museum. Oh, it was um, the the was the, it the the Jerwood. Yep. Yes, yeah. The, it was uh, Arts Admin and Jerwood had got together to do a little. Um, they had a little fund for some artists that had worked with Arts Admin before, and um, um, Serena Corda and I were awarded. Five thousand pounds each to make a new work uh, could be anything. So, um, and I proposed doing a project where I tried to remember um, hip hop lyrics in Freud's final consulting room, and that uh, and called it Biter because uh, it, that's that was the name of the um, a Raekwon track where well it's a skit really where he 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 and Ghostface have a little conversation about how terrible biters are, basically, mm. people who steal other people's rhymes. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's a track that I've wanted to work with for a long time, and just that concept of biting, it just seems so apt for such a sample-based practice, which is what mine is, and which mm. is what Larry's is. Yes. And so um, to try and acknowledge that and kind of think about us, kind of the self-ass biter mm-hmm. and our uh, cultural project production as biting yes. um, was sort of yeah when after I'd done that piece uh, which is kind of fun it's kind of more about memory in a way mm. than than the work that we do um, um, it felt like it needed to be a live project yes and and for a live project you need music sound we, I, we, it needs to be a crew most definitely and, <laughs> <laughs> and so so Looking to Larry to be the producer is like I know you want to kiss me, but I can read the mind. You're weak in the knees like SWV. 
Trying to write a title like Who Killer Me? You can't change your habit. You know I'm rolling with Harry. Me and Harry got our name written in the tablet under vet. We paid our debts for mad years. Hibernating sound now, we're out like bears. Born power. Yeah, I think I think I'd like to kind of I guess add to uh, where where David has, has has mentioned about his projects where I kind of coming um, fr- from the sound uh, based point of view. I developed a uh, uh, a project in in two thousand eleven uh, titled Memoja, uh, which is tree for my blood, and uh, the the audio project uh, the intention of that audio project was to um, look at my audible heritage where I um, originate from using uh, sound and music from my my parents uh, record collection and that project happened in in connection with the showroom um, in in West London and uh, funding from the Paul uh, Hamlin Foundation and so initially I I took on this uh, legacy of of vinyl, um, which is really hard to come by now, uh, vo- um, high life as as a as a sound is only kind of I guess just kind of resurged over the last couple of years, <clears throat> particularly in the West. Um, but in Ghana, people <clears throat> people are listening to different kinds of music now. Um, <clears throat> One particular sound called hip life, which is very derivative of um, of American hip hop, and eliminates the uh, the live sound of of uh, big band high life, which tends to have around fifteen or so musicians. So, essentially, by sampling from those records, um, I I also looked at the. Um, I guess the other time period from which those those records were coming from the um, the, the the 50s and the 60s, and a, a moment in which um, Ghana became an independent African state. So the use of of Kwame Nkrumah's vocals in relation to um, emancipation is, is also prevalent within that. So coming back to uh, David's presentation of Baita. I or kind of I, I had in my kind of mind's eye, if you will, this this thought that oh my goodness, like he's working with with the visuals here, and I'm also working with the sounds. We're both biting, we're both stealing. Like you said, why can't we unite that and turn that into something that that goes even further and deeper into this this conversation of of appropriation. Is, is is essentially is is us as a hip hop crew. It's me, mm. me and you, dressed kind of similarly. Yeah. <laughs> same 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 trainers. Same yeah. same, same same converse top. kind of varsity yeah. style. I, I mean, all stuff that I think will develop. But th- and then then performing a pretty much thirty minute set of um, hip hop lyrics with with um, borrowed beats. Coming to a gallery space near you. 